Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm David. I am back at the pond at Calvert Cliff State Park. I've got a light tackle rod with a grub on the end of it. I'm going to cast it along the shoreline, see if I can pick up a fish or two. If that doesn't seem to be working, I've bought some new baits that I picked up at a discount store I'll show you. I want to give those a try, cast them out a little deeper. We'll have to see. This is Fishing Southern Maryland. Hope you enjoy. We'll start today with a nice little four inch grub by Gary Yamamoto on a just a regular worm hook. No weight. We'll see how that does. What? I have never caught a crappie in this pond. I have caught bluegill. I have caught largemouth. I have never caught a crappie in this pond. We're going to let him go. I wonder if somebody from one of the fishery departments came and put some in here or if he just got in here because somebody else put him in here or what. But I've caught bluegill, like I said, largemouth bass. I have caught rainbow trout that they it put in here. But I've never caught a crappie. I don't know what to say. I've just never done it. Let's see if we can catch something else. Let me show you what I'm going to be trying today now that that grub uh, caught one fish and hasn't gotten any other bites. I'm going to be trying this VMC gliding jig. It says it's a fast action willow blade. It's 1 8 ounce and it's, you know, there's two of them in the pack. I picked them up at a discount store not too far from here. In fact, I picked up this set as well, which is an Oklahoma blade, 3 16th ounce. And I'm only gonna, be, only gonna be using the 1 8 ounce version here because I don't need it to go out too far, plus the water's not really that deep. I'm gonna put a soft plastic on it and see how it does. It says right there on the package that it says it has a faster drop speed it's lead free, which that's good, and it's best suited for shallow water. That's what I've got in front of me, a shallow water pond. It says right here, the VMC Willow gliding jig is uniquely designed for net four finesse fishing, where subtle flash and vibration are essential for triggering strikes. The fast side to side action on the drop can be accented with a soft plastic trailer or effectively fished alone. I've never tried them before. I picked them up at a store. I figured why not? Everywhere I looked after I purchased them online, they were upwards of six, maybe seven dollars for the pack. This set I picked up for two dollars at Ollie's. That's why I go to the discount bins. Let's see if it works. All right, there's my bait. Got that willow blade gliding jig. Bait keeper tied into a five inch green pumpkin Cinco. Let's see if it works. Okay, got twisted around a little bit because of some weeds. We'll fix that. Give it another try.
All right, we're gonna go away from the uh, the jig. Haven't been successful with it. I've had a couple follows, had a blow up right up here, but I'm gonna put the jig away and go back to just a grub or something. Oh, the grub's gonna pay off now. Got a large mouth on. Get over here where we can land it. Get out of that stuff. Come here, buddy. Yeah, better largemouth than the last time I was here. Yeah. Right there in the side of the mouth. There we go. That took way too much effort. But we got a nice large mouth. Catching that largemouth means I've got two species. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know anything about me, you know I enjoy catching different species. So I'm gonna see if I can target a bluegill and get a trifecta for today. Gotta change some things up, but we'll Once see. Once again, shopping at Ollie's, I can pick up various things, terminal tackle, hooks, sinkers, and that kind of stuff, relatively cheap. A little while back, I picked up this pack of Eagle Claw, Plano hooks had 18 hooks in it of various sizes and I've got that small Aberdeen hook I'm gonna give it a try to see if I can catch a bluegill okay so I'm trying to do this all without walking back to my car I mean my car's literally 200 feet away but I just wanted to see if I could do it become a little challenge can I get three species with the stuff that I brought with me predominantly I was coming for bass or largemouth but I did have some small hooks. So I've just climbed up the hill, found a piece of dead wood, and I found a pill bug, roly-poly pill bugs. I don't know if you what you call them, where you're from. I'm gonna put that on my line and see if I can do something with it. I do have one artificial small worm on in my stuff, but I wanna kinda try to do it this way. If this doesn't work, we're gonna go to the artificial. And there's the pill bug on my hook. And just took it right off. Little pink artificial worm. Let's see if we can get one from that. Nope. Oh, we had had a bite. There we go. There's our trifecta. Little bluegill on an artificial trifecta. Okay, so when I left my house this morning, I said I'd come down here to Calvert Cliffs and I'd go after, I'd, I'd target largemouth. I brought some new baits, those VMC gliding jigs. They didn't work for me today, but that doesn't mean they don't work. I'll give them another try on another body of water some point. Uh, but for right now, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going to let the jury go on that one. But if you had told me that I was going to catch a black crappie here at this pond, I would have said, okay, whatever. But obviously there was one in there. I don't know if they were introduced or if I've just never caught one before today and they are there. They could have been put in there because they do spawn earlier than the bass, so it can be some forage. But to get three species today, I'm pretty happy. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, share it out if you want, subscribe. And until next time, tight lines.